Hi everyone, Caitlin here with IMG, and today we're going to discuss connectors. To find your connectors, we're going to come over here to Part Out Settings. Then on the left hand side, we're going to click into connectors. And what connectors do is allow Pardot accounts to sync with third party applications. Once connected, you'll come over here to the status column and see this little green check mark. That means data is being passed back and forth between the two applications, allowing you to manage those marketing channels within Pardot. The connector you see here is your main Salesforce connector. This is syncing between Salesforce and Pardot every two to four minutes. Any changes that are made to Salesforce are automatically being updated thanks to this connector. If we go down a little bit, we will see this LinkedIn connector. This connector does not sync to a personal or company account, nor does it require you to have a specific LinkedIn account. This is simply just a reference point for a prospect record. So if we come over here to prospect record, you'll see here next to Gil's name, this little LinkedIn icon. We're going to click on that, and once you click on it, it will take you to a search tag within LinkedIn, and there he is. So again, this connector just allows you to quickly jump to the LinkedIn results for a prospect or even their company as a search tag. If we wanted to add a new connector, we're going to come up here and add connector. These applications you see here are all native to Pardot. Once you click on one, say we wanted to add a Facebook, we're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna enter any information that you need. Usually it is just a username and password. Depending on the application, that does vary. If you are trying to add a connector and you don't see a specific application here, there are third-party tools like Zapier that help make that API connection between the app and Pardot. And that's connectors.